everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. And today I'm gonna show you a new project. This will be like an ongoing project, nothing that I'm gonna finish in the near future. And it is a rainbow journal. I got the idea from Laura, the Jersey crafter. Her and I were, uh, you know, born in the 70s, kids in the 80s, and we really loved Rainbow Bright. And Laura put it the best. When somebody asks her what her favorite color is, she says rainbow. She just loves it, and I do too. And really funny, I was hanging out with my four-year-old nephew the other day, and I said, hey, Zayden, what's your favorite color? And he said, the rainbow in the sky. And I had to tell Laura right away, because I'm like, oh my gosh, my nephew is just like you. <laughs> so anyways, I too love rainbows because it reminds me of the 80s. You know, we had Lisa Frank and Rainbow Bright and, you know, everything was colorful and rainbowy. And so anyways, um, I asked Laura if she would do a hashtag so that I could make one too and other people and we could all kind of see what we're doing. And she, she said, of course, I would love to. So her hashtag is hashtag rainbow journaling. And anybody can join. It's not a challenge. It's not, you know, it's just if you want to participate and see what Laura's doing or what I'm doing or what Joe Schmo is doing, uh, then you can use that hashtag and you can see what we're doing. If you want to play along and also do a rainbow journal, you can put yours there too using the hashtag on YouTube and or Instagram or Facebook, whatever you want to do. Um, so anyways, I got a vintage Rainbow Bright book and I made a cinch binding. This is um, a machine that I have that binds books. I added some corners to the book because, so they wrapped my books and they, you know, like a plastic, like an Amazon bag, you know, if you get a bag from Amazon or, well, I guess not Amazon. Anyways, it's plastic and then you pull the little sticker off and you slap it down and it closes the bag. Well, their bag is forest green and at some point the corner of my bag had gotten ripped open in shipping and like green got all over my book. I was a little upset, but then I thought, you know, I'm going to use this book for glue booking anyways, so you'll see forest green in here. So I put the corners on here just to um, make the book a little bit more sturdy. And so here we go. See, like right here, I got green all over. It's the dye from the bag, but I mean, whatever. This is from a coloring book, and I colored it years ago. And I've just had it sitting in one of my art drawers, so I put it in there. And then, oh, just, this just makes me happy. I just love it. So I'm just going to do a quick little flip through. Um, so I did this, and then I need to close this. Or I'm not sure if I want to leave this like a flippy doodah, or if I want to make it a pocket. But I have that option. So, and then these papers, I ordered the rainbow pack from Amy at Darkwood Sanctuaries, a.k.a. Hags Hollow. And I will put all the links to everybody I'm talking about down in the description box. So she had a rainbow pack last month and I, I jumped at the chance to get that because I knew I was gonna be doing a rainbow journal. She's the same person that I bought the um, hand dyed paper for Halloween I had uh, that I use in my Halloween journal. So the book is in order and I just put some Amy papers in between and then I have some rainbow papers and I didn't, I mean, this journal's pretty big, but I didn't make it huge because, um, you know, it's, it doesn't need to be ginormous. So every other page I have an Amy paper. I actually got two books, two Rainbow Bright books, two different ones. This one was the more banged up one, so this is the one I decided to make into my glue book. I don't know if the other one's going to just go on a shelf or if... Um, or if I'm going to use it to cut up and put in this book. That's what I originally got it for. So these are the actual 1980s books. I got them from a used bookstore. Let me see if this says what year. No, I think it's in the back. I accidentally, I think I messed up my pages when making this book. And it, I mean, it doesn't really matter. And so I had some colored, you know, rainbowy cardstock that I put in there. I mean, just flipping through this, I haven't even done anything yet, and this thing just makes me happy. I can't even tell you. 
and I used baby blue wire here. So I have this too. I left this open for now because I wasn't sure if I wanted to glue something on here and have it be a flip or if I wanted it to be a pocket. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not going to be writing in here. Um, I mean, I may add some quotes that have rainbow in it or something. So I'm more of like, I like to call it a visual journal. I do visual journaling is how I like to think of it. I like to use pictures and and glue images in versus writing in a journal. So I tend to, you know, I should just call these visual journals because that's what they are to me. Um, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'll plop in a, a little memory I have of my Rainbow Bright. So I don't know. Okay, and then we get to the end here. Oh yeah, see, this belongs in the front. <laughs> These belong in the front and I accidentally ended up in the back. But I mean, who cares? It's fine. Um, okay, so this was 1984. Yeah, so this went in the front and I accidentally put them in the back. But oh well, who cares? Um, this is just going to be a glue book. And um, yep, and you can hear Shermie over there snoring logs. Yeah, I can't believe I stuck those in the back. That is so funny. What was I thinking? This actually goes in the very back. I mixed those papers up when I was... <sighs> oh, well, what do you do? Okay, so there's the back. It also has little corners on it. And I just added some washi on the inside here. And then I have one of these that I use to put all of my project stuff in. So this is all my rainbow stuff. Um, I have different rainbow washi that I can add in here, all these. And then these are some strips of paper I had to cut. These books are actually really skinny um, horizontally, the width. So I had to cut some paper. So I saved all those because I might like weave them together. Remember when we were kids and we weaved paper? I think I'm going to do that and then make like something out of that. And then I have my ribbons here I'm going to add to that and then I have I sent Laura one of these but I have these rainbows I want to add something like that in there this is a tag from Amy I want to decorate I have some uh what do you call this tissue paper and then here's my other book and it's in much better condition so I don't know what I want to do with that yet. And then I just have different colored, you know, washies, like I said. And I have more rainbow stuff. I just haven't gathered it all at this point. Um, but I'm going to set that aside. What are we at here? Oh, okay. We got lots of time. Um, I wanted to take some of this ribbon, I think. Let's see if I like this. I might not end up liking it, but we'll see. What I was going to do... Eh that piece though was cut some of this I don't know how long to cut this about right there and I was thinking about going like this and adding a little bow wait hold up maybe I I don't, this is how my son ties shoes. I don't tie shoes like this, but I'm going to do it for this bow. I think I can get out a cute little rainbow, rainbow bow. I want it tinier than that though. Uh, <laughs> the struggle is real. I don't like that. But I wonder if I just want to do like, I know what I want to do. So I've seen some people do this. Let's see if I like this better. Eh. Okay, now you don't want to come undone. Okay, this little sticky thing, go away. Okay, I like that so much better. Okay, 
There we go with the ribbon. Finished that. Put this plastic back around here. Just kind of keep that ribbon together. Okay, and then I still have this little piece. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Okay. And then I have this big ribbon. Oh, I wanted to use this trim too, but do I want to put that on the inside? I was kind of thinking about putting it on... Let's see. Let's open this. Where does it go? Where does it open? There we go. Yes? No? Dude. Are you kidding me right now? The struggle is real for me today. What is the... What is up? Ooh, I love this. Look at the rainbow. I was thinking about putting this on the inside like this. I'm not sure, but I do love this. Okay, I'm glad I got this. Oh, I know what I want to do. I'm going to go along this edge with some washi. Where's my hair? It is. I'm going to use this one. And I will use a little bit of glue stick for good measure because uh, washi tape doesn't stick very good for obvious reasons. That's kind of the point of it. But Dollar Tree washi especially, I've noticed, lifts all the time. So we don't want liftage. Put this on here. Look around. Wow, sun has come out. My goodness. Okay, let's fix this a little bit. There we go. Okay, and we will just glue this down. Break out the trusty bone folder. I'm actually going to bend this paper up just a little bit and really, really work this in so the glue sticks. And let's cut off the little ends here. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay. And then this end as well. Okie dokie. Now we have a nice little rainbowed edge there. That's cute. That's adorable. I wonder if I should go along these edges too. That'd be cute. Yeah. Maybe another time. Ooh. Do I want to just put this like smack dab in the middle right here? I do. Okay. Tape gun and a little glue stick for around the edges here. And in between the tape. Oops, got a glob. You tell them, Shermie. I'm gonna slap that down right there. I love that the sun is shining on my rainbow journal. Look how cute that is. It just makes me happy. It just, it just does. Okay. Ugh, I hate this. I told myself I wasn't gonna let it bother me, but I'm. I'd be lying if I said it didn't. I was thinking what I could do is just get different color paints and just kind of paint like, like this is green, do a little blobs, you know what I mean? Then I, I need to cover this 
Um, what other washi and stuff do I have that I want to use? What other, what other things do I have in here? Ooh, I have this washi. And let's flip it. I need to get some Care Bear stuff and put it in here. Like Care Bear stickers or cutouts or something. I'll have to print some out. Maybe I'll do that today. That sounds fun. Get some little Care Bear images. Love this. Yeah, I like that little edge there. I think I might do that to like a lot of these pages. Just add the, the washi there like that. Okay, what else do I have to play with in here? Is like super thick um, tissue paper it almost feels like paper like paper paper not tissue paper just, thinking. just glue some on here like so let's just rip some Oh my gosh. So story time. Yesterday <laughs> I took a shower and I'm getting out of the shower and mind you yesterday was um, just a lazy day. Um, it was football. It was rainy. So I get out of the shower and I'm like Ugh, I just I don't want to <laughs> Oh gosh, I can't believe I'm going to say this. Anyways, I was like, I just don't want to wear a bra today. I just don't, right? <laughs> just was not feeling it at all. I'm like, I just want to be lazy, but I have two sons and, you know, like, I just, I always wear a bra because I have boys, older boys at that, you know, if they were younger, it's different. And I'm like, you know, and then there's the fact that I would probably step on my boob if it wasn't harnessed up and you know, kept in place. So I'm like, okay, fine. Here, I'm having this conversation with myself. I'll just wear a sports bra. Okay, mind you, I just got out of the shower. Of course, I'm dried off or whatever. So I'm telling myself, don't let this be like last time. And I'll explain to you what that was. And it was like last time. So I don't know if you have ever, okay, if you have fibro and you've tried to put a sports bra on, it's not easy lifting your arms like above your head like that, right? But have you ever tried to put on a sports bra right after you got out of the shower? Ladies, any of you, speak up. Oh, I just ripped it. Um, yeah, so what happens is <laughs> you put your arms up and you put your sports bra on and because your skin is all steamy and warm, it rolls up into a little ball and you're stuck with your hands above your head and this tight wad of material in your armpit and you can't pull your arm down to roll down the sports bra that's now stuck so I am stuck with my hands above my head I have no clothes on <laughs> I don't have my phone and even if I did I couldn't text anyways because my hands are stuck above my head <laughs> I'm stuck with this freaking sports bra stuck around my armpits and I can't the fabric has rolled into a tight thing and I can't pull my sports bra down I keep ripping this I just 
need to be less forceful with this. So anyways, I'm like, great. So I know Jackson's in his bedroom next door. So I try to wrap a towel around myself and that wasn't enough. <laughs> so I grabbed, mind you, while my arms are stuck in the air, <laughs> grabbed a bathrobe and tried to wrap myself up. <laughs> I, I go to Jackson's door and I say, Jackson, <laughs> I'm trying to knock. I'm like, open your door. And he's like, what? And I open the door and there he sees his mom with a towel wrapped around her and a bathrobe and her arms stuck in the air. And I said, you have to pull my sports bra down. And unfortunately, he didn't think twice because this is not the first, second, third, or fourth time this has ever happened to me. He has had to do this for me several times. I just don't learn. I just don't learn. So I turn around and he pulls the back of my sports bra down to my shoulder blades so then I can, you know, pull the front down and everything like that. So I'm like, thank you. And he's like, oh my God. And then I leave the room <laughs> and I go up to my bedroom and I'm able to now put my sports bra on. And now, of course, I'm exhausted. I'm tired and <laughs> I just want to go back to bed. <laughs> so, that's what happened to me yesterday trying to get dressed. Okay, you guys, I can't even dress myself. That's it's getting that bad. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is wrong with me? Like have I not learned all the other times? And the answer to that is no. I have not learned, you guys. I do this all the time. I put my sports bra on and then I go to pull it down and it rolls itself into a little tiny ball and then I'm stuck with my arms above my head and I have to go ask my son for help. So yeah, there's that. Oh my God. What am I gonna do when like my kids move out? What if I'm stuck like that all day? My husband's at work and I'm stuck with my arms above my head. It's not like Sherman can't help me and I'm not going to a neighbor's house with my arms stuck above my head saying, hey, can you pull the back of my sports bra down? Here's the rule. New rule is if nobody's home, I don't get to try and put a sports bra on. That's the new rule. I'm telling you right now. Oh my God, you guys. I have issues. I just do. I have issues. Sherman's not amused. He's not amused. Okay. Well, there's that. Um, basically this is what I'm going to be doing in this journal is just adding bits of color, bits of rainbow everywhere. And I'm just going to have fun with it. I'm just going to glue things in that make me happy and make me smile. And I have all my little rainbowy things right here. And I'm going to make a bookmark that has beads on it. And that's going to be my next thing I think I'm going to do. But anyways, I just wanted to do a quick video, which ended up not being quick at all, to show you my rainbow journal. And if you would like to make one as well, please feel free. Like I said, it's not a challenge or anything by that by any means. But um, if you want to check out other rainbow things, and I know a couple other people have also sparked interest in making a rainbow journal. Um, I'm not going to call out names in case they change their mind, but... Yeah, there'll be a few of us making some. So anyways, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.